hey and welcome to my channel it has been a long while since i last uh, did a video it has been like about under three years i've had a baby in that time and i've just been away doing me <laughs> trying to get myself back together a lot has changed since um, i was last uh, doing uh, youtube I'm no longer doing CrossFit. I'm a vegan now, um, and yeah, um, I've also put weight on, obviously after having my um, second child, so I'm kind of in that fighting back to get fit stage. Um, and I'm coming back to YouTube because I just need that motivation, I need the support, and I just need that accountability to, you know, um, to carry on this journey, to get into where I want to get. Uh, I'm going to start off with this video um, showing you a popular uh, recipe of mine um, in our house and that is the vegan Jamaican curry. This meal is so comforting and it's brilliant for meal prepping. It's full of goodness, there's lots of ingredients that you can take out and put in um, and it's cheap, <laughs> it's a cheap meal to cook. For your family so yeah so I'm gonna stop rambling on right now um, and we're just gonna get right to it hi so I'm gonna take you through the ingredients that I use to make the vegan Jamaican curry you can swap a lot of these ingredients out and put your own sort of uh, favored ingredients because it's just one of those type of like uh, curries that you can just put anything in it and with that flavor it just tastes Good. so it really doesn't matter um, I've got sweet potatoes here but you could have white potatoes um, it just depends on your diet if you're going for a low carb diet you could even just scrap the potatoes all together uh, but yeah I chopped them up like this um, nothing amazing uh, I use thyme too fresh thyme rather than dried because it gives that more authentic flavor I also use spring onion along with chopped onion and I like them chopped because I just hate chopping onions up myself so that's just perfect for me. Uh, also some spinach, um, I've got a lot of that and I'll be putting quite a bit of it in because you got to have spinach. Also a chilli, I think this is just like a medium flavour one. I tend to kind of like just play around with it at first, I put in it a little bit and then I kind of work up to you know how spicy I want it. Also, I'll be having brown lentils, and I like them in the can rather than, you know, doing it from um, from dried. You can have, like, chickpeas or, I don't know, just like, or kidney beans, just anything else. You don't have to have brown lentils, but I like this because it's a slightly lower carb. Um, and because I'm obviously having sweet potato as well, um, yeah, I don't want to go too crazy. But yeah, these are, these are good ones. These are from Okado. And this is also for my Kado. And this is the light coconut milk. I like the light coconut milk, obviously, keeping everything down, um, or rather than having, you know, full fat coconut milk. So this works perfectly fine for me. Also, I don't know why I put thyme in there. <laughs> I put the dried thyme in there, I don't know why. I think that was meant to be something else, I'm not sure. But yeah, no, don't need the dry thyme, um, because we've got that here. For curry powder, I use this from Dunn's River. It's the mild curry powder. Um, but you can use any curry powder, whatever you choose. Um, but yeah, that's the one that I can just easily get from the shop down the road. I also use the ground ginger in it too. Um, just gives that nice, light, very typical Jamaican flavour uh, to the dish. So yeah, I use a bit of that. You can use like fine tomatoes, uh, like fresh tomatoes, and pulse them and use that, which is probably better, but I'm just using chopped tomatoes because I cannot be bothered. So there may be other ingredients that I may add into this. I tend to just like switch it up every time I do it, but uh, yeah, I will always sort of like put a note in if I've added anything different. Oh yeah, black pepper and salt is what you'll need to. But yeah. What you'll notice as well is that I haven't really mentioned sort of ingredients, uh, measurements or anything. And that's just because, you know, I, I just go with the flow. Um, you'll get the idea as we go along. And it is one of those things like every time you cook it, it's most likely going to be different. So you're going to add a little bit more of this and add a little bit more of that. So I just kind of keep it 
you know, uh, just open for, for you guys to sort of test and play around with. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's cook this vegan Jamaican curry. It is nice, it is beautiful, and you're just gonna love it. Okay, so we're gonna get the pan nice and hot. By the way, I'm not going to be adding in any um, oil or anything like that because I'm trying to be oil free. Um, so I'll just be adding in a little bit of water um, as we go along um, with frying the onions off. And that's what we're gonna fry first is the onions. I'm gonna chuck in about 100 grams of onion. There's so many different ways of doing a curry as well. Like you can do the typical curry thing and cook off the seasonings first, then add in your onions. But to be honest, I just like to do it just this way. I cook off my onions first. So all you're gonna do is just keep keep moving them around. You can even put the uh, lid on to sort of steam them off. Okay, now I'm gonna add in the garlic. Also, you can um, add fresh garlic paste, um, garlic cloves, whatever, chopped garlic cloves. But I'm just using in, I'm just putting in the, uh, the garlic granules because I can't be bothered. Just going to add in a little bit more water. Yes. So I'm going to add in one tablespoon of the ginger. But like I said, uh, I play around with the ingredients, so I might add a little bit more or whatever. Um, so just bear that in mind. I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of the mild curry powder. Add in a little bit more water. You'll probably find as well when you're doing it like this, without using the oil, that you're going to have to keep putting the water in um, every now and again but it's okay at the end of the day we're just not adding any more fat and um, you know that's all that matters to me at the moment now I'm also going to add in the spring onions I'm also going to add in the chilies, chopped chilies. You can obviously just miss this step if you want to. Let's give that a stir. You can really smell those flavours now. Especially that ginger. If you don't like that, that kind of gingery taste, you know, just um, have half a teaspoon or just, you know, just don't have it at all. Now I'm going to add in a bit of the chopped tomatoes. You don't want to add like the whole can or anything, just a little bit. Just work with it at first. Just work with it. Maybe just half a can. That's it. Give it a good stir. Next we're going to add in the thyme. And I just add it in like this. I can't bother with chopping it up and stuff. Um, I like just to have it like this. I don't mind coming across it in my food, but if you want to, just chop it up. Now we're going to add in the sweet potatoes. And you're going to just chuck them in. And you're going to just get them all covered in that sauce. Again, you can miss this step and just go straight to adding in the lentils and the coconut milk. Next, we're going to add in the lentils. That's it. You're keeping that heat as well, like on a kind of uh, a low to, to a simmer. 
you don't want it high because at the end of the day you're just going to end up burning everything and we don't want that so you're just going to stir it around get those lentils covered with all of that nice flavour sorry my stirring is awful <laughs> I probably need like a much bigger pan than this but yeah this will do for now I actually do have a big one I have a huge one but I just don't think I've got the camera angle for it now we're just going to add in a little bit more water now there's 200 ml here but I might just add in 150 I'll see uh, because we don't want it too watery when the uh, coconut milk goes in. We just want it enough so that the sweet potatoes are going to, you know, um, have some moisture to cook. Okay. Next, we're going to add in the coconut milk. Um, and I'm just going to add in the whole of it. You could add in a little bit of it if you wanted to. If you've got like the full fat coconut milk, maybe add in half of that and then a bit more of the water. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to add in all of it. Lovely. And then obviously you're going to give it a nice stir. Don't worry about the sweet potatoes. The sweet potatoes are going to cook. You just got to put the lid on it and let it cook for about, to be honest, I let it cook like with anything kind of uh, curryish or stewish or anything like that. I let it cook for like about an hour at least on a low heat. Okay, so just get that nice and stirred. Going to add in a little bit of salt. You can miss this out and I'm going to miss it out just because I find that I've been adding salt to things a lot lately. Um, and I just want to like, stop doing that. Um, so I'm just going to add some black pepper. It's just a little bit too much because we've already got those red chilies in there. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's enough. Let's give that another swirl. At this point, you can add in a little bit more. You could add in some peas. You could add in some, I don't know, you could just add in anything, carrots. You could just add in anything at this point um, because it's all going to just cook, you know, right down. Now, that was really, uh, that was on a um, kind of like a really low simmer. Um, so I'm just going to add it. Okay, so that is now on a simmer. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let it cook. And yes, you're going to let it cook for about an hour at least, I would say. Because um, the longer it cooks, the better it tastes. And it always tastes much better the next day as well. But yeah. I added in a couple of ingredients. Um, to the curry, I added in some liquid seasoning, and I added in quite um, quite a bit of that. Um, and I also added in some of this um, vegan gravy, um, instant gravy granules. I added in like a teaspoon of that because you don't want it turning into a gravy. Um, it's just enough to give it a bit more of a richer flavour. But yeah, it's just uh, that's the first time that I've added in this one. Uh, and it's really nice, it really makes it um, really flavoursome. Okay, so we are back. The potatoes, the sweet potatoes are nearly cooked. Um, and at this stage, what I like to do is I like to just to break a few of them down, um, just to thicken up that sauce a little bit. So as you can see what I'm doing here, I'm sort of squashing a few of them. Um, yeah, this just like thickens it up a little bit. That's it. Just do another one. Some of them won't be cooked yet. No, that one's alright. That's it, and then I'll do, I'll do this one. That's it. Just press it down the back of the spoon like that. And then just give it a good stir. Also, at this point, I will then add in the spinach. And I'm going to add in quite a bit of that. 
because I always add in just like a little bit because when you first put it in it's like there's quite a lot of it it seems and then when it cooks down it's just as well there's nothing there <laughs> so I'm gonna add in quite a bit and spinach is really really good for you so yeah you got to get your spinach in Okay, now the spinach is cooked down and we are going to serve it up. I'm going to be serving it up with some couscous. You can serve it up with some rice. It's entirely up to you. You can even have it on its own. Or you could even have it with a, I don't know, a, a, a naan bread or I don't know, mix it up. You know, it doesn't have to be with, you know, rice or rice and peas or whatever. You could just, um, just have it as you would with a normal curry. And that is that. That is the sweet potato curry. Jamaican curry with the couscous. You don't have to have the couscous, especially if you're on a low carb and it's in the week. Um, you could just have this with uh, some broccoli or whatever. Um, you can have it on its own. It's entirely up to you, but because this is a cheap meal for me today, I'll be having uh, it with some couscous. But yeah, this is a great meal to cook up for uh, meal prepping. So definitely give it a go and let me know what you think if you've cooked it um, and tried it. Yeah, let me know. Thank you and subscribe.